when you're ready. Three, two, one. All right, how y'all doing? Hit me uh, that thing there. We want to let y'all know, don't forget, uh, I made this, it's a replica of Stevie Ray Vaughan's guitar strap that I made for him. And uh, we're asking everybody to go on YouTube and, and get on there and share uh, what we're doing. Uh, Tell all your friends about it. We're gonna be giving this away here pretty soon. So we're gonna uh, today. We're gonna be putting the grill cloth in this Dumble uh, copy uh, head here that Rob Hunt built, and uh, we're gonna put this grill cloth on this. Uh, I drilled the holes out to make it where you can get some ventilation up in here. When this thing gets kind of hot, it gives it where the air will flow through it. And we're gonna put this grill cloth on here so uh, let's get with it and see how how you do this
got this first uh, part done here. Um, what we're doing here is we're taking and putting this grill cloth on top of this board. And uh, really to make this board right you got to line up the uh, this this grill cloth. You saw on the video how I turned it over and I was lining that top up making sure that this grill cloth was going to be the same perpendicular to this. It wasn't going to be off like that. So, and then we uh, we worked with it while it was wet because uh, you really can't straighten it up when you're trying to set the mesh up there. You're trying to make sure sometimes it'll look kind of wavy. So you want to make sure that everything is real straight lined. It's going to go along with everything. It's not going to end up being like this or like that. Okay, and then you saw that after that, that I, uh, I put this trim along the side. And it gives it a nice a nice trim and hides the edges around the edges you notice I was kind of struggling with it too uh, sometimes you know when you're doing something for the first time you just kind of don't know how to do it you just kind of struggle through it and even I've been doing this for a long time I get very frustrated and you can kind of see it in the video sometimes maybe but uh, you just got to be real patient and um, believe in yourself and and, and your work is your is your pride. It's, it's it's everything. When people look at your work, they go, "Wow, that's 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 what you want. You want that wow factor." Okay. Well, this is a lot of fun. We're going to go to our next step. We're going to put this in here. We're going to insert this into the uh, the box, the head, and then I'm going to make the back side without. Uh, I'm going to put some gold on the back side of this, and we're going to kind of go with the. Uh, Maybe put some bling bling on it. We have, we have, who knows? Okay, here we go. Well, wouldn't that look cool on the back of it? It's brown though. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty stuff. But you got something golder? Yeah. Uh, find something golder. <laughs> Is that a word? Ah, uh, it is now. <laughs> I think I think that's pretty gold. What you think? I think that'll do it. All right. Here we go. We're gonna try this out for size.
Now, as you saw a while ago, using this machine, uh, I've used it for everything in my, you know, everything. Shoes, uh, furniture, if I just need to grind something down, but this is a shoe machine from the 19, I'd say 19, thir late 30s, early 40s. I got it from Mr. Spain down in Deep Ellum, one of the uh, oldest boot maker uh, repair shops in Dallas. Uh, I think he was in 19, like early 1900s all the way up until I bought the machinery from him in 95, I think it was, when he went out of business. But he and his dad had a, a Spain uh, boot shoe repair down there in Deep Ellum for, for a long, long time. I had a shop down there called Blue Suede Shoe during the 80, uh, late 80s and early 90s. And uh, he was going out of business, and I bought this Landis machinery and his stitcher back here in the back. But uh, that's what I just, I sometimes just get out and just grind it down on the sides and make sure it's nice and square, pretty square for just guessing. So what I did, I, just, I took the sides down here because I'm gonna wrap this around the sides, and it was too tight on the sides, I couldn't get it down in there. So I ground that down a little bit, so when I wrap it, it'll pop in there. So let's glue this down.
Mm-hmm. <laughs>
We've got this thing together and uh, so what today what we did is we put the uh, handle on uh, we put the corners on and uh, I went and got it out of my old old case slid right in up in there and uh, you got to find the holes up in here's a little bit of a, uh, a jiggle but it, the holes are out there you can find them really so today uh, we pretty much finished this hope you've enjoyed the uh, the time that we spent with you, I uh, appreciate it. Thank you guys for uh, tuning in to the new Christian Brooks Custom Leather YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Okay, don't forget, uh, we're going to be giving away the SRV strap. Why not you hand it to me there, uh, uh, Aaron? Thank you, Mad Skills Entertainment, for putting this together for me. Um, this is the strap I made. It's a replica of the one I made Stevie Ray. And uh, just get on there and and, and uh, please share and subscribe to our channel. Be sure and tell everybody about us. We'll be uh, doing a couple new ones this week, so stay tuned to our channel. They'll be coming out probably by Tuesday. We'll have a new one out. Had a, a girl come over today, her name was Grace. I think you'll enjoy that. I think she was 13 years old. Her mom came over and what a good time we had. Hope you uh, will enjoy that one too. Thanks for tuning in. Talk to you later. Been waiting for that laugh. <laughs> <laughs> what laugh are you talking about? <laughs>